for people who have pets, uh, you know, in their homes, should they be worried right now? I mean, if they have cats, dogs, uh, parrots, uh, maybe, or birds. If you specifically talk, I mean, uh, the transmission via pets for the for this disease, it is not uh, established. There, okay. there, there needs to be more evidence. And cats being an intermediate host for the transmission of COVID-19, I think it's too early to say that. Okay. So, but still, do you think like people, they have to be very careful if they have pets, like the way they take care of themselves, you know, they are washing their hands. So do they also have to sanitize? They have to wash their pets as well, like yes. as frequently as they are doing uh, for themselves. Exactly. Exactly. So it's like, you know, um, if you ask me that, okay, fine, how, if you have pets, you know, how do you keep them? So, well, I would say that, you know, the way uh, you would treat a human being, the same way you would keep your pets, right? So okay. whether it is in terms of uh, physical distancing, so please make okay. sure that you do, not, uh, have, you do not make the pet interact with other animals from outside or other people from outside, right? Uh, okay. You make sure that, you know, uh, you do not take them to crowded areas in case, you know, I mean, if you're taking the dog on a leash, uh, first of all, the leash is required and make sure that, you know, there's at least a distance of two meters and wow. do not take them to crowded areas. Um, uh, it is very, very essential that, you know, even pet hygiene. So it's like oh. when you have the pet, clean your hands first, handle the pets and all those people who have pets at home, they know how to maintain the hygiene for the pets. Right. And then wow. after, thereafter, wash your hands. Uh, if the pet appears sick, uh, okay. contact the uh, veterinarian.